Hi folks, Chris Stricklett here. This is the freestanding pump that we are using on the ultrasonic drill and it really can be used for a lot of other applications. But one of the things about this pump is that there, it collects and sucks in right from here on the very bottom of the pump and there are no notches or no way to get any fluid in. So if you set that thing right on the bottom of your bucket, you're going to have a problem. So uh, what I've done is I've created legs. It's the freestanding pump from Highland Park. Uh, what you want to do is buy some 8-inch bolts like I've done here. They're 8-inch bolts uh, with quarter 20 threads, and you need four of them. I bought eight quarter 20 nuts, four washers and four lock washers all that would fit the quarter inch i took some quarter inch uh id tubing so that i could make feet and these are little bumpers that really came from uh steel door jams but you can pretty much put any kind of feet on um, i've drilled a hole in my table an inch and a half deep I've marked each one of these bolts an inch and a half. Stick the bolt in your hole. And pull it until it matches your 27 degrees right there. And cut them six inches long. I had pre-marked these six inches. And then basically you're going to slide. I did round the end in case... Uh, it doesn't want to you don't want to cut the bucket but then you put just put these feet on uh and you can adjust the heights with the jam nut uh by adjusting this so that the thing isn't rocking inside your bucket and you want it to probably be up off the bottom of the bucket you can see i'm up about a half inch probably off what would be the bottom of the bucket so once i finish these out put these little plugs in the end uh, and round these ends off. Pump will be ready to go uh, for my ultrasonic drill.